so the ultimate trials were comparative trials between risinkizumab and ustekinumab. Uh, the difference between the two medications, you stick in your map, is a molecule that blocks interleukin 12 and 23. Uh, Risen kids, you may have blocks interleukin 23 alone. Uh, there's a immunologic rationale behind that blocking interleukin 23 alone would actually be superior to blocking IL-12 and 23. And the, both the drugs are dosed similarly, every, you know, loading dose at week four and then every 12 weeks thereafter. Um, and so the concept was, can you take these drugs that are viewed in a similar light in terms of dosing and mechanism as well, um, and compare them to see if you have um, either equality or superiority. In this case, uh, Risen Kizumab, as we've actually published, um, showed superiority um, to Ustikinumab in both trials independently, and the integrated data set show, obviously shows that to be persistent. And then looking at um, sort of the aspects of the response, and, and those include going out to 52 weeks and looking at how you maintain response for those 52 weeks. Um, one of the really nice things about this trial, many times we've done comparator trials, um, which have gone from a first 12 to 16 week dosing period and then switching over to the um, other medication, to the medication that's being tested. Um, in this case, you have persistence of the origin of the comparator, which is extremely helpful in really trying to figure out how well things work in comparison. And so um, when you take a look at the data set in, in total, you have significantly greater not only efficacy but persistence of effect in um, with the risen kizumab. Additionally, when you look at the dosing intervals, um, especially at the higher level responses, you begin to see a little inconsistency in the ustikinumab response, which actually shows up in the clinic um, where people have beginning to have little uh, recurrences at the end of the dosing period that doesn't seem to happen with this risen kizumab. It's a much more stable um, outcome. And those are the big, uh, biggest aspects of what's been demonstrated here.